Edgar Boda? <laughs> you know, for someone who was trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I... I, I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. <laughs> the question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. It's prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fun. But are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> Hello there. A sentient sword. Huh. Another marble. Surters. No soul in it, though. So he's still out there somewhere. A while back, you talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. They're far from here. Far from Odin and Thor. But I wonder what lands they've gone to. What seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? It just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Ah, uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, well that's... good for them. But it looks like their... um... love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's Shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just... Be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Hey, Ingrid. Think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the god of thunder? Oh. Get off of us! Looks like we need to head through that gate. Thor? Real god stuff. You are a god. You're damn right. And so am I.
It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. No! No! Ah! Damn it! Some advice. Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. You're still a giant and I'll revel in killing you too. What did you do? Loki. <laughs> the rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> Okay. What did you teach the kid? <laughs> Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, oh, I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now... It wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. How was it? Did father behave himself? Yeah, I mean, better than I would have expected, I guess. Is that the sword from grandfather's study? Oh yeah, her name's Ingrid. <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Wow, all father must really trust you. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. Did you think that I would be? Well, I mean, it's pretty good. I'm not angry. I'm concerned. You know that's not what I want for her. You don't want her to have a sword. But it's not about having a sword. It's about what you use it for. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. And I don't want that for her either, okay? You don't have to worry. She's a smart girl. Smarter than her father. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come here. Well, this has been a weird day. Exactly.
Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. But I have a plan. Do you now? Renards. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness. It's confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer him counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before. More than once. But believe me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Purpose. Purpose is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate. Lead your armies into war. Secure your vengeance. If securing our justice is not your purpose, then find another. For your own sake. Got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. <laughs> well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are 
wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. I don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy. When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found the hidden mural. The giants. They herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet. Who we would fight. All of it. As it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. This is the right area, but we can't go further on the sled. I just hope the Norns are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimble Winter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Ominous broken gravestone. The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. <laughs> Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel them. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mm. Go!
Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. <laughs> this is the place. to work our way up this way Way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. This way. Oh, no. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Kratos, ghost of Sparta, bane of Olympus, destroyer of fate, cruel strong, bring on war, weapon of the gods turned against the players. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. He cannot change. <laughs> in our own minds yet. He certainly seemed real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. Memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. <clears throat> that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you? Babbling. <clears throat> Oh, 
That looks official. Imagine them thinking I had any desire to be back on this itchy carcass. Mimi! Secret? Brother, hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. You served Odin from the day you met to the day he put you in that tree. You start on me. You wanted his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a death until you turned off! I know, Secret. It's true. All of it. But for the love of you, I became a better man. A counsel of you. An ally to all of you. Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To Scott? To Groa? Or to Tanya? No! You always took the side of the powerful men! You did! Brother, watch out! There's one of them! Even now, you see a violent god in me, and you can't help but look at him and call him your brother! And tell you to always be you off! And it's who? It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamiya! Mother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Why wouldn't you see him the way he wants to be seen? I don't want to do I am here! I'm not safe with him! Oh, brother, help me! He's a monster! Oh. I think it's over. Did we pass the test? Didn't feel much like succeeding. 
I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> That might not be her favorite subject. Away. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him, him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, 
And you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt Omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> well, that was educational. <laughs> this place happily that's better i can feel things getting more normal already wait that tree well isn't that interesting what is this that's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. <laughs> Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother. But it's hardly my point. We're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. 
Well played, Norns. Find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses, sees everything coming, unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will it help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, little one. 
Got it. I think. Enough. Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. oh. Whew, that's a relief. <laughs> huh? Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. No idea what he's on about, brother. <laughs> 